Welcome to the vlog, Welcome besties. Welcome to the vlog, besties. Hi, we're at a cool place. I've been looking forward to today for a long time. Yeah. Today we are at Floor and Decor. We have to do some work here, some fun work. We're picking out our flooring for us. Woo! What kind of flooring are you gonna pick? Oh, you'll just have to see. We're talking tile, all the hard surfaces. So tile in all the bathrooms is basically what I we're looking for. I already have my shower picked out. Then. Give us a hint about what color. Green. Let's go in and take a look. Let's go and take a look. We'll find something for everyone. This this is what specifically I'm interested in. It's called large format porcelain tile that looks just like marble. Wow. Look at that. Two feet by four feet, and it's just so beautiful. The colors in that just make me so happy. It's almost like Whoa. a really pretty ocean or something with sand. I just love that. Guys, we're looking specifically for your bathroom floor, your bathroom countertop. And if it's for your bathroom countertop, it has to be at least four feet wide, 30 inches deep. So do you suggest that the countertop is different than the floor? Yeah, and the third tile is for your shower. So three different kinds of tile here. Okay. Me and London had the choice to either have two separate bathrooms like Lexi and Taylor or combine them and be oh, twice the size. We so didn't have that choice. <laughs> yeah, we did. So we are sharing a bathroom. But you know what's so cool about your bathroom being combined is because it's combined, it's bigger and you get to have a bathtub yeah, with a chandelier. You can see London has a special guest here. If you guys don't know Skyly, this is Skyly and you probably know her. She's London's cousin and they are like BFFs. They have a YouTube channel together called the London and Skyly Show and Skyly's helping London pick out her tile today. Lexi found some really pretty shower tiles. They're gonna be super cute. It's kind of tricky because she has to pick shower tiles, shower floor, and bathroom counter, and bathroom floor. Kyle might make the countertops out of concrete, which would be so, so cool. So anyway, there's just a lot of decisions to make. I'm gonna show you what me and London are doing in our bathroom. This is for our shower, so on the walls and stuff, we're gonna do this, but then it has to like slope, so we have to do tile. So we're doing the same thing, but in this hexagon tile, and it's gonna look so good, it looks like this. This is our shower. Lexi is laying out the tiles she wants. Oh my gosh, Lex, it's literally so cute. I love it. <gasps> Are you it so excited? Like ugly and like pictures and stuff. We were trying to take pictures of it with our phones. It couldn't capture like the blues. And on the camera, you can totally see the blues. Yeah. <gasps> Lexi, oh my gosh. So it's so excited. hard to know if I'm making the right decision with my bathroom and stuff because Brighton and Lexi and Lennon's bathrooms, gorgeous. And I'm like, how do I know if I'm doing what's right? I don't know. It's scary. But I think no matter what, it's going to look pretty. You know, it's just scary. How do I know, you know? So London and Sky are just chilling on this thing. London, how do you feel about our bathroom? I like it so far. <laughs> and then you're probably wondering, well, what floor are you doing? We are doing this amazing tile for our floor. You can see an example of it here. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So pretty, here's another example prettiest floor. And it's perfect because in the blue tile, it has a little bit of cream and it has a little bit of white and so does that. So it's perfect. And then for our countertop, we're just doing either like white cement or more of like a cream to match. I don't really know yet, but one of those and that's pretty much it. I really like me and Brian's bathroom. At first we weren't agreeing on a lot of stuff because she <laughs> liked the things that I didn't really like and the things that I liked, she didn't like. So it was kind of like a hard decision, but that blue tile right when we walked in, I was like, that's the one I want. And so we both agreed to get that. It's really pretty. It is really pretty. We're getting that in little hexagons. That's what they're called. Yeah, I'm really happy about it. Hey Lexi, me and Dad were thinking that maybe you guys could each pick one of your little tiles. You can get one to buy it to take it home. Okay. That way when you pick out decor or paint colors, you can compare it to your tile. Yeah. Taylor is thinking this would be her shower wall and that would be her floor. So I have like a miniature version of the wall on the floor. That would be so cute! Ah! I love it. So we got the samples of everyone's floor and their tile. You guys, it's gonna be so awesome. Now that we picked out all of our tile, we came back to the house to see how it would look. We've been trying to visualize how their tile would look in their different bathrooms and things. And it's so funny, after seeing the spaces, I'm thinking we probably overthought it because it's just little teeny showers. It's not like it's the whole bathroom, you know? But it seemed like such a big decision, kind of like when you go to get your nails done and you're like, oh, this, what color, what color? It kind of felt like that times like 10. But it just doesn't really matter in the long run. I think it's gonna be so cute no matter what. 
Visiting the house is just really awesome because I feel like it allows a lot of imagination. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but sometimes when you're sitting at home and you're trying to design your room, I have a hard time, like, picturing it, even though I've been here so many times. So it's really cool to come here and then kind of be like, okay, that's where my shower tile is going. That's where my vanity is going. You know, just reassure yourself, like, it's gonna look good. I'm really excited. So I just need to pick out some more lighting and I just have a couple more things I need to pick out for my room, but I'm really excited. Visiting makes it just feel a lot more real and it allows a lot more creativity because you're there in person, you know? Things are looking like they're coming along really, really nicely. The walls look like they're almost done, you guys. The drywall guys have moved so quickly. Look how good it's all looking. Our move-in date is supposed to be August 8th. That's like a month and a half. Six weeks. That's like six weeks. The thing is, we have to be done by then. That's like the deadline for our loan, for loan. that we have to be done by then. So that means we have a lot of decisions to make. I feel like in every single vlog, we're probably gonna be showing you something really exciting because there's not that many more vlogs until the house is done. And the kitchen will be so fun to see it finished. I mean, that's the kitchen right now. After it's gonna be cool. Not very much left to do. It's like flooring, cabinets, painting, install lights. And that's it, and then we can just move in. And then it's like, move in. That's crazy. We're gonna head out now and go to a parade of homes house, so that's gonna be super fun. And it's the longest day of the year, and we're gonna celebrate like we've never celebrated before. Oh yeah, we are. Which is actually hard, pretty difficult to beat, because we usually always celebrate the longest day of the year. Did you know that, Ali? Nope. Longest day of the year, welcome to summer. Hey guys. Longest day of the year, baby. Longest day of the year. So this is how we celebrate. We get up on a high place. So of course we're on the roof. We just get our snacks and we watch the sunset. Which you can see, it looks like it just went down over that mountain, but that's okay. It's the tradition of celebrating it that is the most important. I'm out of breath just from hiking up that little teeny ladder. Woo. The elevation is so much higher right here than it is down there. Yeah, totally. Oh yeah. yeah. So in the past, probably when I was in junior high or high school, I decided to start a tradition where we make brownie mix with chunky Ghirardelli brownie mix and we take the brownie mix up to the roof and watch the sunset. So I had to quickly make this chocolate. I whipped up this sugar-free chocolate. It's not really brownie mix, but representing the brownie mix. <laughs> it's such a random dessert, but anything chocolatey, it's like chocolate cream cheese and sweetener with whipped cream. So it's kind of like a mousse. Anyway, it's good. She invented this in Turks and Caicos when we were desperate and it was a huge hit. We needed chocolate. When you need it fast, you know what to eat. Cacao. Right? I just, I just made that up. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. Me and my friends, we came to watch a concert, but instead we're like, let's just have a picnic. So we got Taco Bell, and now we're just watching the sunset because we accidentally missed all of it. But that's okay because we had fun on our own. So I think Kyle is going to send up his drone while we're watching the sunset. Maybe. He's doing Instagram stories. Kyle has a really cool home account on Instagram. It's called Very Fine House. You should check it out. I'll link it below. And it's just really, really cool. And he's been putting a lot of content on there. He has a vlog. He's been working hard. Are you setting up the drone? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Me and my friends are at like this food truck roundup thing. And I got boba drink and it's so good. It's taro, yeah. I don't know how you say it, but I think it's taro. London is joining us. She brought a pillow to sit on, so that's nice. She just went swimming, huh, London? With Skyly. London, do you have fond memories of being up here from our last Shumway Show video? Yeah. <laughs> fond if, memories? If the besties haven't seen it yet, what is it called? Last, last to leave, the leave the roof, the baby. Roof. Last to leave the roof. It was actually so Gosh, fun. I'm Are you kidding? Something no, I'm serious. Really says, scary just happened. Aircraft disconnected. Oh my gosh. Oh, transmission signal. My gosh. Is we don't know where the drone is, you guys. It disconnected and we like literally don't know where it is. It might land like in someone's back. It could hit someone. Like, we just have no idea what where it is. What if it just falls falling. straight down and hits one of That's never no, happened. It won't start falling. Safety it knows mode. what to do. It has like a safety mode. So Kyle has been flying drones for a long time, so, and this has never happened. This is so strange. Do you think someone shot it down? This is weird. Maybe if someone threw something at it, right, they threw I like... Don't know what's going on. I don't know. That's scary. Oh, that's actually so, so sad. We have so many we memories with that drone. We put up a reward if you find me picture with a drone. <laughs> Seriously, we should. We it's, should. It's a nice drone. Yeah, let's do it. Kind of like when people lose their dogs, you just put on in every corner. Okay guys, so we just said a little prayer that we could find the drone. We're gonna put signs up around the neighborhood to see if anybody can help us find it. Shoddy already got a head start. What if it's like up in outer space? We it's like, just, it's gonna hit that yeah, airplane. It just hit that plane. Okay, 
Okay, well, why don't we go on a quick drive around and see if we can see it? Head down. Okay, let's go find it, guys. Come on. We've hopped in the Jeep to drive around and ask anybody if they've seen drones anywhere. It might be some of London Sky to get on their bikes and then go on the trail. Oh, yeah, they can go up on the trail. Or Anyways, roller skates. Roller skates. They can just yeah. roller skate around. We're just gonna kind of drive around and ask people, like, hey, have you seen a drone fall from the sky? I don't know what we're gonna do. The footage is gonna be great. Yeah, I mean, the footage of the drone falling. Maybe turn in there. We've actually been yelling just in case out the side of the Jeep. Has anyone seen our drone? Taylor, show them what we do. <laughs> Has anyone seen our drone? We just lost our drone. Has anyone seen it? <laughs> Has anyone seen a drone? <laughs> no, we're laughing, but it's not funny. Have you seen our drone? It fell from the sky. So I posted on my Instagram story that we lost the drone and Brock and Bob's just replied, this happened to my drone. I flew it so I had lost connection and flew away, which is exactly what happened to us. So it might be lost forever. And that's just really sad. So I feel like I have so many memories with this drone. I just barely picked up Lexi from her friend's house. We also picked up Brighton from her friend's house. And we took Skyly and London to Skyly's house so Skyly could grab what? Contacts. Contacts? Why did Skyly need contacts? Because she didn't have any today. Oh, you guys are going to do a sleepover again? Yeah. Cousin sleepover. This is their third sleepover in a row. Fun. Yeah, didn't they have like seven? Like, that was so me when I was a kid with my cousin. I would stay at their house for a month during the summer. That's 30 in a row. <laughs> That's crazy. Crazy. Brian, what did you do on your hangout? Well, we rode some electric scooters over and we fed her bunnies and we made these drinks and I picked out her outfit for cheer and just a bunch of random stuff like that. Awesome, awesome. Lexi, what about you? How was your hangout? It was good. We went to some fruit food trucks. We drove past those. How was it? They were good. They didn't have like the best ones there, but I got a boba drink, so that was good. Oh, yum. We should make those tapiocas. Yeah, we should. Let's I make those we bobas them. when we get home. Let's do it. Guys, we also just lost my drone. <gasps> did you find it? No, we didn't find it. Did Whoa. you see it? No, I saw that on Instagram. Well, where did you lose it? I was flying it on top of the roof and then I just lost connection and it's gone now. We were standing on top of the roof while I was flying the drone. Yeah, but where were you flying it around? Just as high as it would go. Oh, you're just flying it high? High, yeah. Anyway, I'm excited to have you guys back. It's 10 p.m. The night's just getting started. It's the longest day of the year, baby. Okay, besties, the night is winding down. It has wound down. It has wound, it is wound. <laughs> and we're just kind of getting ready for bed and things. I have to wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow. What? Yep, Brian has it. the earliest cheer ever. It's so early. So I'll vlog that because it's kind of fun to- I tried to pay off Brighton to not do cheer, but anyway, that's a different story. <laughs> Good night, Lexi. Good night. <laughs> it was a great longest day of the year and stay tuned. Except for that I lost my drone. Yes, I was gonna say, stay tuned because we're gonna hang signs up to see that if we can find it. That story's not over. It's not over, so hopefully we'll find it tomorrow. Anyway, we love you guys so much. Thanks for watching.